In this video, we'll start to explore how we can remove these color boxes here between. So we have this wonderful chart here with multiple data sets, but we don't like to have here a default color set. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to remove these color sets without damaging the legend effect. As you can see here, as we click on this, it will show or hide as we click on it on the button here. So let's start and explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, and which is how to remove the legend color box in Chart.js. So this question came in one of my other videos, which was about how to use a select dropdown to update the chart data set in Chart.js, which is quite interesting video. However, in here, if we scroll down here, you will find eventually a question from Dotsia Dot Daras, and Dotsia was asking the following. How could I make sure that the legend has a color that isn't the same as any of the columns? So I was referring to something else. However, this was not what he, what Dotsia was asking. Dotsia was asking the following. No, I mean the box next to the uh, number of votes. Would it be possible to change that box to white or transparent? So we can play around with that and I will show you exactly how to do this. So if you're wondering what, what Dotsia was referring to, I will show you right now. So, all right, we're going to create this. And before we even continue on, I want to grab here on my charts3.com website. I have this link. Use this link here. You get here the description of what it is really basically. But basically, this is just the default code that I always use in my demos. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this here down. And then I will copy this part so I know exactly the video title. All right. And then I save this. And if I save this, Refresh, you can see here, this is what Dotsia was referring to, the colored box here in the number of votes. I can imagine that this is probably not very desirable because this is a part of the legend. However, now the legend has no value because you can see here we have all these colors. It's all different. So this red color here is only referring to one item here, but what about the others? And the reason why it does this is because of the data set. So let's see how we can adjust this. So Let's explore. To do this, I want you to go to the Chart.js documentation. Right now, the official version is 3.4.1. This is the latest version as of now. And in here, we're going to look at the thing here, which is the legend. And in the legend, we're going to specify a specific item here. Because basically, we don't have to make it transparent. We can just remove it at all. So if we scroll down here, you will find here a certain part here which goes on the label, all right? So the configuration label. So the configuration label is basically this label here consisting of the text and of course of the color box. However, we cannot remove the color box, but what we can do is reassign the box width. By default, and you can see here options, this is the namespace, in the options, plugins, legend.labels, in this namespace, we can reassign the default value of 40 pixels we make the box width now any amount we want if you want to remove it completely just put it back on zero because as you can see here the width of the colored box the same here the height of the colored box you can put it as well as zero but this is not necessary at all once you hide it here it's already done so what we're going to do is the following we're going to use here in the options just below the skills between here, there's a comma, and here we say plugins. Remember the namespace was referring to the following options, plugins, legend, labels. So we say here options, then we're going into plugins, and then we say here legend, and then we say here labels with an S if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's correct, it's an S. And then in here we say box width, which is this specific value and reassign the value from 40, which is the default, back to zero. So the moment we do this and we save this, go to our chart and refresh, you can see now the number of votes has been removed without damaging the effect that we have here. As you can see, when we still click on this, there's no problem at all. And even if we would add up another data set, same story remains. It will not remove anything. So let's say your number of sales, Save that. There you are. We have two of those, and we don't have any interference on color and etc. etc. 
So this is the way how you can hide the color without damaging the legend on click effect in Chart.js. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.